Good morning. I'm Francis Set Gonzalez with your Tropics Update, and we are, of course, tracking Tropical Depression Florence, which is still producing rain, unfortunately, for parts of North Carolina. Just can't get a break. And the rain is also spreading into Virginia, West Virginia, Kentucky, and into the Mid-Atlantic states in the Northeast eventually. So it is moving north-northeast, 13 miles an hour, and estimated rainfall totals so far, well, for the record books. In North Carolina, some areas have seen more than 30 inches. In South Carolina, more than 20 inches of rain and as we continue to add even more rain in spots especially through North Carolina already this morning catastrophic flooding continuing as folks are still uh, trying to recover and dealing with a devastating situation there so flash flood warnings and watches in place not only due to the rainfall but also uh, due to the river flooding that we're seeing for some of these areas so the rainfall potential well we could see an additional two to four inches of rain for parts of the Carolinas some areas in Virginia and through the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast could see anywhere from four to six inches of rain with isolated higher amounts. The remnants of Isaac down in the Caribbean, certainly something we'll just keep a close eye on as the Hurricane Center has actually decreased the chance for this to become a tropical cyclone and now has a 10% chance of becoming a cyclone as it moves west-northwest, possibly heading into the Gulf of Mexico. In the meantime, look at how quiet it is for much of the eastern half of the Atlantic, except for Tropical Depression Joyce, which is southwest of the Azores. There's a lot of Saharan dust that's helping to suppress any cyclone development for the time being in terms of any Cape Verde storms. Of course, uh, we'll continue to monitor the Atlantic, and now we start to turn our attention to the uh, Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, for any possible development. And right now, seeing some dry air just to our east, and also even to our west. The moisture, though, is down here associated with the remnants of Isaac, which could clip our area, work its way into the area. Wednesday, Thursday may increase our chance for storms slightly, and we'll continue to tweak that forecast for you right here on CBSMiami.com.